guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Typically for the MCAT, you don't need to know very much anatomy. In general, you want to focus most of your study time and attention on physiology, the function of our body, and the function of the different organs in our body. But sometimes, you do need to understand at least some basic anatomy in order to be able to understand and explain some of the physiology, right? And so in this video, I just want to go through a little bit of the basic anatomy that you should know about the intestines so you can answer some of these questions. The intestines are broken down into two parts, the small intestine and the large intestine. And the small intestine has three separate sections, in order being duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. And the way I remember this is I think of Dow Jones Industrial. And this practice question we just had was asking us which area of the intestines will fats be absorbed in. And the way you can remember this is think about going to a fast food restaurant and eating a giant hamburger and a bunch of fatty fries and all this fatty food. You're going to feel sick, right? You might even say that you feel ill. So if you eat lots of fats, they're going to be absorbed in your ileum, making you feel ill. So fats are absorbed in the ileum. So taking a second look at our answer options, the correct answer here would be answer choice A, ileum. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, Feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAS score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.